Okay, today we are going to solve a separable equation. Suppose we have y equals, oh, it's actually y times x plus 1 dy dx equals to x times y squared plus 1 and we want to solve this differential equation this is a separable differential equation because you can write it as y over y squared plus 1 equals, um, this is dy, equals x times x plus 1. Well, it's actually x times, divided by x plus 1. You then integrate this side with respect to y and this side with respect to x. On the left hand side, the integral becomes 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus y squared. And absolute value. And we're just going to put the right hand side as 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. So then integrating that we get 1 half because. We have the natural log of the absolute value 1 plus y squared. We don't really need the absolute value. So this is just 1 half times the natural log of 1 plus y squared. And on the right hand side we just get x minus the natural log of x plus 1 plus c. And that is the solution of this separable differential equation. Now suppose that we want to solve a problem and uh, due to something that is called heat transfer this is Newton's law of cooling All right, um, Newton's law of cooling is the um, rate of change of heat. It looks like an A, but it's not an A, it's an H. With respect to T, is proportional to the... Um, heat temperature minus that surrounding temperature. H is the temperature at time T. And 
H S is the surrounding temperature. And the solution to this, so suppose that the initial temperature of this is called H of zero. The solution to this initial value problem is equals to H, which is the temperature. Uh, and this is equal to the surrounding temperature plus the initial temperature or whatever the object is minus the surrounding temperature times e to the minus kt so suppose that we have an egg and we take it out from boiling so the initial temperature of the egg is equals to 98 degrees Fahrenheit and suppose that the surrounding temperature is equals to 18 degrees Fahrenheit uh, actually degrees Celsius and suppose that when you leave the um, egg for a while, so maybe like five minutes, the temperature of the egg um, reduces from 98 to 38 degrees Celsius. We want to find out um, how long it take for the egg to reach 20 degrees Celsius. So plugging all this into the solution of Newton's law of cooling, we have the temperature is equals to um, 80 which is the surrounding temperature plus 98 minus 18 which is the uh, initial temperature of the egg minus the surrounding temperature times e to the minus kt um, this gives h equals 18 plus 80 e to the minus kt and because the egg is equals to 38 degrees Celsius whenever I mean after 5 minutes so this is the same as 38 equals to 18 plus 80 e to the minus k times 5 like that so if you subtract 30 18 from uh, 38 you get 20 equals to 80 e to the minus k uh, 5k so e to the minus 5k is equals to one fourth. Then you take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of both sides, you get minus k 5k 5k to be equals to the natural log of um, um, one fourth, which is the same as minus the natural log of four, and so that gives you the k. is equals to one-fifth uh, one-fifth times a uh, natural log of four 
Anyway, so I'm just gonna come and do this over here so I can finish this in the same page. So K is about something like 0 0.28. All right, so putting all this together, we get H equals 18 plus 80 e to the minus 0 0.28 T. And we just uh, need to know, we need to find out T when H is equal to 20. So we put the 20 right here. Like it's 18 plus 80 e to the minus 0 0.28 you subtract uh, 18 from 20 and then divide that by 80 so eventually you get e to the minus 0 0.28 t equals to 1 over 40 then you take the natural log of both sides e to the uh, minus 0 0.28 t and then the natural log of 140 and so finally when you take the so you get minus 0 0.28 t equals to the minus the natural log of 40 like that and so finally t is minus the natural log of 40 divided by 0 0.28 negative so t is about 13 minutes I think you get 30 yeah about 13 minutes so it takes about 13 minutes in order for the egg to cool down from 98 degrees Fahrenheit to 20 degrees, I mean not Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius does it want to write the 13 minutes, so here we go so write small 13 minutes and then I'll just circle that and we're done next time we'll talk about maybe hyperbolic functions thank you